Next up in our project is uh, let's check out the uh, set reset flip flop and reset set flip flop. It's quite a, a commonly used block, so let's check out how they work. As you can see in here, we have a little block in there where it says SR. We need to provide him some form of memory area, so we're going to give him a memory bit one. So uh, when a, uh, a set signal is going to come in here, which is going to be our signal as a push button one. Uh, where is push button one in here? And once the push button is going to be activated, the SR and Q will be uh, on and stay on until R1 or reset button has been activated. And for that, we're going to give him a, a signal in here as a uh, push button 2. Okay, and that's pretty much uh, all there is. So uh, you can use this bit to activate something somewhere else. So let's do, let's, let's put this one in here. And uh, put that uh, M0.0 in here. Zero in here, and also well, we can uh, we're gonna put a coil in the end. But uh, output one, and I give this this guy a coil as well, and give him a output tip. There we go. Let's compile and have a look how that works. So, as you can see in here, when I click push button 1, it will uh, set the block and uh, memory bit 0.0, .0 goes on and Q goes on as well. So, by uh, clicking push button 2, it will reset. The one thing here to remember is that in, in this case, when our R1, which is the reset, is true at all times, you are not able to set it. This is one of, your one of the unique things over the other. Uh, set reset we were checking out in previous videos Here we go. So let's quickly have a look as well how the reset set works. It's pretty much the same Just inverse. So let's delete that Put a, uh, a Reset set on it to give him the same memory bit and this time what we're gonna do in a, uh, our, a set is gonna come from push button 2 instead of push button 1 so let's compile it and as you can see in here now to be able to set up the block we need to click push button 1 which is on the uh, instead of R1 as you can say R and uh, S1 now is on the bottom so by clicking that by actually in true the block gets uh, set and by clicking push button 1 it gets reset and in this case if the set is being on and held on reset cannot happen that's pretty much what set reset flip flop it is. So next up, let's check out a scan operand for negative single edge and for positive single edge. It's a very very interesting a uh, uh, contact that we most likely many of us is gonna use. So let's create some program in here. So let's go for contact, contact, and a coil. So to give him this gonna be our push button, inch button in here, push button one. And in here we're going to change that one to a P. And in here we're going to change that to a set. Oh, no, set. So because it happens for one pulse per one cycle only, so we're not going to be able to uh, see see much of a changes if we leave that one as just a coil. So let's check that, say that on as a uh, output one. And in here, as you can see, we have two areas. One area that is going to be ex executing the uh, actual signal, which is going to be our push button two. And in the bottom, is requiring a memory bit area. So it's the area that is going, is, going, is going to compare its signals to. So for the positive edge, the way it is looking at is when signal I0.1 comes on, it will check what was in let's say we allocate him area memory bit one what was the state in memory area in the last scan so it works like this signal comes on it checks the last scan negative which was zero and then it checks this guy the push button that is one and it, uh, it allows and if that is these conditions are met it will let the signal go through and activate the output or send the one pulse through in that scan to activate or do whatever you need to do. So let's see how that works. So here we go. So uh, if I click my push button one now, all right, 
So as soon as I click the push button two, it will ex it'll allow it through one single pulse. And as you can see, P comes on, pulse quickly has gone through and activated the output. And let it go, and then you can do it again. So, and as you can see, you can't see because it happened so fast, you can't see. That's why you use set in here so we can see that the output has been activated. If by any kind of chance you're using this, this memory bit A now, you need to safeguard it and keep it away. Because if you manage to put it anywhere in a program, it will mess this whole thing up. It will just, it will just completely start not working as it should do. So remember, push button comes on, it checks the last cycle, make sure that this wasn't zero. If that wasn't zero, then it says, oh, that's one. Okay, signal goes through. And that's positive uh, detection. Next up, let's check out the negative, how negative would work. So let's put negative in here. Give him exactly the same signals. Push button two and the same memory area. So let's compile. So now what it's going to do, when push button come, comes on, he's going to check the, again the state in memory bit area and he's going to make sure that that was one. Once that one, then he's going to check the other area. So he's going to be waiting for the other area, so I0.1 to be at zero. So it's going to be one to zero, because it only happens when you let the button go. So let's see how that works. So uh, input one on. As you can see, we activated the ZI 0.1. Nothing happens because it's looking for us. So now, now it says memory bit is one. It is true. That's one. So now it's make it. Now it needs the zero to be at I input 0.1. So once we let that go, as you can see, it detected that for one cycle, initiated a pulse, and activated output Q 0.0. That is a scan operand for negative single edge and positive single edge. So next let's check out a uh, set operand for positive single edge and, and a set operand for negative single edge. So these guys are working as a coil, so let's have a look how that would work. So let's contact in here, so let's put the push button in here. Uh, push button one. So, and then right in the end, we're going to put a coil on it. So, and uh, we're going to change that coil into a P. So you can see in here, again, it's requesting like is a uh, scan in, a, it was requesting two operands. The first, the top operand is what it's going to set. So which one we, we, there's going to be bit is going to be setting well, uh, uh, well, when it's meeting this A positive edge. So we're going to say we want to activate memory bit one. Okay, and memory bit and, and a bottom the operand two is going to be the memory area, whereas again, like we previously mentioned in uh, in a scanning operand, it will be looking for a correct bit combination. So in here, what we're going to do in here, we're going to add another uh, line in here, add another contact, ooh, and also a coil. So in that coil, we're going to put a. Uh, Output one, and we're going to change that so we can see it because it only happens one uh, uh, one cycle, uh, uh, one pulse per cycle. So uh, let's go to set. And we're going to change that to our memory bit one. That's the one we are setting. So let's, co let's compile it. So how is it going to work now is as soon as the push button one comes on, he will check the memory bit area two. So memory bit one will sort of uh, turn to one. It will check if the memory bit in a uh, memory bit two in the last cycle was zero. Conditions met. Bit turns on. That det that it detects. It can translate that into positive edge. Let's signal through for one cycle only. So let's check how that works. And as you can see, as soon as I click the button. So he checked the conditions in, in our uh, Q0.0 has come on for one cycle only. And how we would work for a uh, negative is pretty much the opposite. So let's put that in the negative. So uh, blow that in. So in this case, when the push button comes on, he needs to meet new conditions. So if I click the push button, it, uh, the memory bit one, uh, it's come on. It checked. It checked the last uh, the last condition, 
was zero, zero but he needs to know he needs to for him to be able to activate it now he needs the memory bit one to be at zero so now he's got memory two at one but he needs memory bit one uh, the memory bit one at zero so that will happen when i let the button go boom i do that and as you can see that now he detected the negative edge and as you can see my set output which is output one is being set and the instruction has worked now that is set operand on positive signal edge and set operand on negative signal edge